in this video I'm going to show you how to edit my videos on YouTube. This is a very important video so I want you to pay very close attention because this is going to be critical when ranking on YouTube, ranking high in the search engines and actually letting YouTube know uh, when people search for your specific keyword how to find you. As you can see it's literally here how to edit my videos on YouTube. And what you're going to do now is after you've edited your or you've actually created your video, you've mentioned your keyword in your video, you've done your keyword research, everything, you know, I'll go and you upload the video I've showed you in the previous step. This is now, let's quickly see, step number, number six, this is step number seven, this is step number eight. So in step number seven, I've showed you how to upload the video. So let's quickly go, I'm going to walk you through this step by step and at the same time if you want to know how to make money online which is exactly what i'm doing uh, using multiple sources of income uh, building a business online then i highly suggest you click on the link on the bottom left hand side of your screen or not click on the link visit that link www.growwitherol.com which will show you how to make money online so let's quickly select the video for instance uh, best life insurance south africa as a quick example now this video is going to upload although i don't want it to really upload because i've already uploaded this video so this keyword was best life insurance south africa so what you want to do is in your title very first thing that you do is in your title this is the main keyword that i want to rank for then i put double point i'm not sure what you actually call this but i call it double point after double point, then I want to say, for instance, uh, in this example, I said three, uh, or let, let's call it Best Life Insurance South Africa, three things to know when buying life insurance. Okay, three things to know when buying life insurance. So this is what I call, you want to create a catchy title. You want somebody, firstly, you want to relate to the keyword which is Best Life Insurance South Africa, my video pops up. And then afterwards, when reading next to it, it says, three things to know when buying life insurance. So what are those three things? Obviously, you want to know. And then, and I actually uh, talk about this in my video, but then you want to take this entire title. So firstly, you want to make a catchy title. You also want a catchy thumbnail, because once this video is uploaded, you will see now that this video, the, the thumbnail is literally something just a, a, a screenshot within the video but I don't want to do that I literally want to go to Canva and I've shared this with you in my, one of my very first videos canva.com I want to go and I want to create a thumbnail and once I've downloaded that thumbnail so I'm just showing you canva.com uh, we don't have to do it again so let's say this is the desert three tips when buying life insurance so that was the thumbnail so i've downloaded the thumbnail i've created the thumbnail and now i'm done so then i want to actually upload so this is my title i've got the title now i want to upload a thumbnail so what you do is you scroll all the way to the bottom and then you say custom thumbnail you click on that it's going to refer back to your pc and then you have to select a specific thumbnail you click open and then it's going to upload that specific thumbnail and at the same time you've got to catch it title and now you want to create a catchy thumbnail that thumbnail when somebody searches for you on youtube you want it to be or not for you searches a specific keyword you want it to be eye-catching let me let me go show you an example this is going to be a slightly long video but it's fine just bear with me because this is the one of the most important videos um, and you do not want to miss a step in this video so let's quickly search for best life insurance south Africa okay as you can see I'm literally at this stage ranking in position number two uh, but I'm logged in so if I if I log out of my channel so if you really want to see your rankings I highly suggest you click on right click on Google Chrome you say new ignito window so I'm quickly going to copy this keyword let me see where I'm actually ranking in the in the search engine or in YouTube so youtube.com Com, enter, ah, oh, no man, enter, then I'm going to go and I'm quickly going to paste, sorry, my laptop is kind of slow today because I'm recording and I've had multiple tabs open and closed, open and closed all the time, so it's running low on RAM at this stage, so best life insurance South Africa, let's see where I'm currently ranking, I think I'm ranking position number five or six, 
actually position number one. Well done. So best life insurance South Africa, position number one. Three tips on buying life insurance with a little exclamation mark. Okay, so I wanted to stand out. As you can see, these are all just plain. There's a phase there. There's, I don't know what that is, a little photo or something. Another phase, just a phase, a little picture with a little bit of description. So as you can see, it's all plain. So when you when you open it, immediately mine pops up. It, it, it stands out. It says, three tips when buying life insurance. Okay, so you wanted to stand out. You want to create a catching title and a catching thumbnail. Okay, so once we're done with that, let's close YouTube again. You want to copy this entire title, literally as is. Control C, Control V. So I'm literally copy, I've copied and pasted it. It's full stop. Directly after that, you want to start your, uh, I know it's going to say invalid request, so just forget about that, but it's fine. Then you want to say directly after that, you want to start your description, like uh, in this this video i am going to oh, sorry i am going to show uh, or point point out sorry point out three things when buying life insurance space space enter enter okay so this little section when somebody searches for you on YouTube and they come across your video, and literally it's in the searches, then you will always see next to the video there's a small description. You want that description to also relate to the video. So you want somebody to actually click on it, not only based on your thumbnail, based on your title, but also based on your description. As you can see, there's a, a little snippet from my video, which is not what I want. That's where why well, I said you've got to upload a custom uh, come on custom thumbnail okay so video YouTube kicked me out due to uh, this video being a duplicate so let's go to okay let's upload another video quickly sorry about that uh, the internet was gonna kick me out so let's quickly say open for this one uh, then let's just say Forex for now. Forex and then test. Okay, so you've got your keyword in your title, you've got it in your description, but in your description, <laughs> okay, so in your description, let me literally just go and open up a video, a different video. So let's open up one of my videos, how to make money online in South Africa. Do, do, do. So we've opened up this video. Let me just pause it. Okay, so we've paused the video. As you can see, exactly what I explained to you. You'll see there it says how to make money online in South Africa with a title. Title once more in your description. So that's all going to happen while editing the video. Uh, like I showed to you after you, so you've literally clicked there, then you've clicked upload video. Then you enter your description. Now, you don't want to give away too much in your description. So when somebody reads it, they still want to watch the video. Now, in your description, you want to at least have your keyword there three times, two to three times, not too many times. Otherwise, YouTube is going to see it as spam. So as you can see, let's quickly control F. So how to make money online in South Africa. As you can see, it's one. Then in my description, I had it one, two, three times in my description, okay? Then you can also have a secondary keyword. So I do not really have a secondary keyword here, but you can actually say, um, if that was your main keyword, how to make money online in South Africa, you can now create, a, a, let's use this as a secondary keyword, legit ways to make money online. That's basically my secondary keyword. Then you can literally sprinkle that keyword, your secondary keyword in your description as well, at least two to three times. So not too many times because YouTube wants to know what your main keyword is. So your main keyword is how to make money online in South Africa, for instance. It's three times in there. Then you can add a secondary keyword, meaning you've got another competitive keyword or, or a low competitive keyword with search volume that you would also like to rank for when somebody searches for this specific video, then 
I've chosen, let's say, legit ways to make money online. I've sprinkled that about two to three times in my description so that when somebody searches for this video or for this keyword as well, legit ways to make money online, um, I'm not saying that I'm ranking for that specific keyword. I'm just saying then you want them to find your video as well. Okay, so then on this video, at the bottom of your videos, you will see that there is tags. You can enter tags. So I'm on this video, I've literally used all these tags, how to make money online in South Africa, how to make money online in South Africa 2019, ways to make money online in South Africa, and so forth. And you can see that I'm ranking number one for this keyword, number one for this keyword, number four, four for this keyword, number one for this keyword, one for this keyword, 16th for how to make money online, which is a very competitive keyword. Um, and I did not actually talk how to make money online. I targeted how to make money online in South Africa, and I'm ranking for that specific keyword. Uh, make money online, I'm ranking 10th. Then Errol Mueller, and then how to make money fast in South Africa, I'm ranking number two. So these are the types of keywords that I've used. How do you come across these keywords? So let's go to um, how to ride a dirt bike, for instance. Okay, so let's click on the very first video. Hopefully there's gonna be a couple of tags for us to use so I can show you. Okay, so pause, come on, pause, okay, so as you can see, this is the, the VidIQ score, so I've already chosen the video I want to rank for and, 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 so let's say you've chosen how to ride a dirt bike for beginners, for instance, the keyword, so remember, keyword, co double point, then just a little bit of a description, and then in your description, copy that exact title, put it in your description, like I mentioned to you just now, three times and so forth. So I want to outrank this specific video, for instance. Now, I want to look at his video tags. So YouTube basically shows up videos related to another video. So I want to relate to this video, but how do I relate to this video and at the same time try and outrank this video by using its keyword? So I wouldn't use this exact keyword. You will have to shuffle it up a little bit. Otherwise, YouTube will see it as a du duplicate or spam. Then I would just say how to ride dirt bike, how to ride a dirt bike for beginners. Double point and then um, three step by step ways starting today, for instance. That will be my keyword. Then I would sprinkle it in my description. Then I would look at his video tags. Firstly, in the description, I would also look to see if there's other keywords that he might that he's busy using. So, because I wanna relate to his video, that when somebody watches his videos, in the subscription, or in the suggested videos, which is right here, where it says up next, this is actually suggested videos. I wanna make sure when somebody clicks on his video, I show up in suggested videos, why? Because my content relates to his content. I've got one or two or three keywords relating to his key, uh, uh, tags, so one or two or three key uh, tags, relating to his tags, which are these tags, and I've got a, a couple of so a couple of keywords that he's using in his description. For instance, the MX Factory shows you how to ride a dirt bike for first-time riders or beginners. Then I will literally take that as is, copy it, and then in my description, I will enter just once, maybe twice, otherwise just once. Once, and then let's say, let's use it once, then let's look for another keyword, um, uh, da, 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 da. Let's quickly scroll down. How to ride a dirt bike for beginners video. So here's another one. How to ride a dirt bike for beginners video. So then you can use that specific keyword also in your description and then create something nice around that keyword. So you, you want it to blend in. You want it to look natural. You don't just want to copy and paste because otherwise YouTube's going to uh, flag you for spam or duplicate content. Then once you've done that, uh, you've copied about three of his tags. So he's ranking for how to ride a dirt bike, how to ride a dirt bike for beginners, which is also when you're going to enter how to ride motocross. You can use that. You can use three, four, five, six tags as well as your own tags. You don't want to literally just go and copy all these tags, put it in yours because that's duplicate content. You want to use three or four of his key um, uh, tags Make sure that it's based on your video. You don't want to use, for instance, you're making a video about dirt bikes and you create 
you use tags, for instance, how to make money online. That's got nothing to do with how to ride a dirt bike. Okay, so then at the bottom of your description, when editing a video, you're gonna enter that in your tags. So now I've showed you how to use your keyword, how to sprinkle it in your description using somebody else's title and description so that you can try and outrank them and not only just outranking them, but when somebody clicks on that video, you're gonna show up in their suggested video on the site like I just showed you. So let's open up the video once more. Uh, pause all the way down. So you wanna show up in the suggested because YouTube shows that a lot of views has come from suggested videos and especially if you can show up in the up next. So if somebody watches that entire video, your video will be next immediately, which gives you free exposure by some, from somebody else's video. They didn't really have to search for your video. They searched the keyword, yes, they did not click on your video, they've watched somebody else's video, but now YouTube says, listen, here's another video for you to watch, which is also good based on how to ride a dirt bike for beginners. Okay, so that is what you want to do. Then after you've uploaded your video, so you've entered your title, your description, you've entered your tags, then you actually wanna go and you wanna save the video. In my next video, this is now, sorry, I'm losing track here. This is now video number step seven. So we are literally on step eight, video number eight. So video number nine, I'm quickly gonna go into one of my videos. I'm gonna show you literally back in description tags and everything, what it looks like when it's completed, and then we can take it from there. Okay, so I will see you in step number nine, video number, no, step number, I'm I'll, sorry about that, I'm confusing myself here. So I'm gonna see you, yes, this is video number eight. I'm gonna see you in step number nine, video number nine. Okay, cheers.